Welcome to this how-to on how to improvise a scanner using just a regular household equipment. <clears throat> First of all, sorry for my bad English. I am really bad, I know, I suck, that's it. Okay, I once had a scanner, and then I sold it because I thought, who in this world of computers and all that uses scanners and papers? Well, now I got fired and I find that the school I used to go to uh, who prints out school papers and my boss who wrote a recommendation, well, both the school and my previous boss, my previous school, previous boss, uses paper. Now I need to apply for a job and I find that I need to scan this paper in order to electronically apply for these jobs. Okay, so I look through my house and I find these regular household equipment. Just a moment. Oh, fine. Yes. Here I have a fax. If you don't know what a fax is, you are, well, I think, low on intelligence. A fax is a fine piece of 21st century equipment used to transfer paper or images of paper through telephone lines. Then I have a PBX, a private branch exchange, and it's used for small companies when they need a lot of phones but don't want to pay for the phone lines. So it uh, extends, expands these few outgoing lines to a lot of uh, local extensions for local telephones. Okay. Fax, PBX, a piece of wire over here to a laptop with a fax modem. And now I'm really embarrassed. I'm running Windows. Yes. You see the IBM fax modem. Uh, it didn't quite work out with that and uh, the Linux drivers. So, and I am in kind of a hurry here. So, I took a shortcut, I'm really embarrassed, I use Windows. And on this Windows, I have a piece of fax software. So, now when I need to scan a piece of paper, I go over to my fax. I dial up. The PPX sets the call through to the laptop. Oh, nice sounds. <coughs> and then it should begin. Yes. And it faxes transfers a picture of the paper to the PBX. One local exchange extension, another local extension, laptop software. All normal household equipment. There, and it prints out a confirmation paper. You see, uh, faxes are not normally used to transfer fax pieces of paper inside a house. Oh, I think there's something wrong with the paper drive. Oh, yeah, I don't need that because I can just walk over to the laptop. Laptop there. And the software will pop up and say, you have a new fax. And then, I click, do I want to view it? Yes. We have the fax inbox. And this is the fax I just transferred, faxed, for what you want. And here we have a piece of the paper. And to get the fax, or the scan, or what you call it, out 
of the software. Oh, sorry. I just need to say print. Then I use Qt PDF Writer, fine piece of GPL software. And then it asks me what do I want to call it. Just type something in. And there I have successfully scanned a piece of paper without a scanner using regular household equipment. Well, at least it's regular in this household. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.